Hi there, once again welcome to Adiotech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. Consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a glow effect in Photoshop. So I'm having a sword over here. This sword is basically just an ordinary sword and I'm going to add some glow effect to it. So this is the sword we have and at the end of the day, we're going to add some glow effect to it like this. So stay tuned for this and even if you've already subscribed, remember to like and share this video with friends. So without much ado, let's jump right into action and see how to create this. I'm going to walk you through everything step by step so first of all we need to create our background and then we bring our image onto our Photoshop so I'll go to file and then go to new I'm going to set my background the width is going to be 20 and then the height is also going to be 20 and my unit is going to be in inches my background is going to be the color mode is going to be RGB the resolution is going to be 300 and now my background is going to be white and I'll click on create so I'm going to have my background and what I'm going to do next is to bring my image okay so I've downloaded this image can download it from Google I'll just drag this image onto Photoshop I'll just drop it onto Photoshop so this is the image we're going to use and then from here we can just move it direct onto our design okay so I now have this on my design and what I can do is I can just drag it out in order to enlarge this so this I'm just going to turn it around and just drag and turn it around and then just position it anyhow you want i'm okay with this and then i'll just click on the check icon from here to confirm this so i have my sword on my layer as expected what we need to do is to change our background color so i'm going to double click on the layer and that's my background just click on ok double click again to open the layer style so I'm going to click on the color overlay and then I'm going to stick to this. If you want to change the color, you can just click over here and then pick any color of your choice. Okay. So click OK and then go back. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. And then what we need to do next is at least I need a copy of this image in case I made any mistake. I can fall on that. So let's call this. We can name our layer sort. Okay so i've named my layer sword and I'm, i want a copy of this you can just right click and then go to what duplicate layer to get a copy of that so i'm just going to leave it as it is a copy of my sword and then the main one i'm going to turn it off okay so what we need to do next is to add a layer max to this so what we need to do now is to cut part of this image and then we can start working with it so we want to just apply the effect the glue effect to the sharp edges we don't need to do that to the handle so i only need to select the portion of where i want to actually add my glue effect so i'll go to my tools panel and then select the lasso tool just select around where i want to apply my effect tool. so i want it around this place so i'll select it this way so i've selected a sharp edges where i want to apply my glue effects what i need to do next is to go to the edit menu and then go to cut so to cut this from my sword and i'll go back to the same place and we'll go to what paste special and i'll go to paste in place so we're going to paste it at the exact place where i cut it from so we're going to have the image appearing over there as if we've not cut it that is cool and we have the image over here the next thing we need to do is to add a convert this to a smart object so right click on this and go to what convert to a smart object so we're going to get this now and what i want us to do is that we're going to actually put this into a group okay we can just select the layer and then press ctrl plus g on your keyboard and it's going to put this into a group so we're going to have our image in a group this way what we need to do next is to have a copy of this once again right click and then go to what duplicate layer and it's going to give us a copy just leave it as it is so we're going to have a copy of this image okay so this is our layer after adding a copy to this we're now going to apply our effects with my layer selected i'll go to filter go to blur and then we select our gaussian we select gaussian blur gaussian blur from there and then we we'll set it to five the radius is going to be fine and click on ok so it's going to add some 
simple blade tool you will not see it but as time goes on we're going to increase so we're going to get a duplicate of it right click again and go to duplicate layer just leave it as it is and then we're going to make modification to the gashen blade so basically this gashen blade is having five radios so double click on that and then we're going to increase it to 50 and then click on what okay you can see now it, it tends to appear and then you can see the blur effects on this particular sword we're going to make another copy right click again and then go back to duplicate layer and click ok so we're going to increase the gaussian blur radius again so just double click on the radius from your layer panel and now increase it to 100 and then click on ok so you can see the effect will keep improving on your layer until you are done so we're going to increase it until we get to 400 so i'm going to make another copy you can press ctrl j to get your copy ctrl j will give, give you a copy so click on gaussian blur again and this time i'm going to increase it to 200 and click on what okay let's just allow that some time to apply the effect and i will do the last one okay so the last one ctrl j will give you a copy and then change it to 400 double click on the gaussian blur and then we're going to set it to 400 so just allow that to apply and we have our effects on this particular sword okay so we are okay and then we are cool with this now how do we get so how do we get this amazing glue effects in order to do that we have our effects all in this group so going to our adjustment layer down here select your group and go to your adjustment layer down here click on that and then select hue we have hue slash saturation slash we have hue slash saturation just select that and then apply this so you can see small icon down here just click on that to apply it and then we have to colorize check that one as well and then we can now do our colorization so we have the hue if i just drag it to the yellow portion and i'm going to give you some yellow effect you can see i'm getting that effect just drag it as you want and then we have the saturation you can also drag it to the right and it's going to give you that kind of what's glue effect so you can see what is happening to our sort on the screen so just do your color adjustment and then do some few adjustments if you are okay with that then that is all you need to do on this particular layer if i zoom out you can see you've basically applied some glue effect to this sword so this is just a simple trick remember to like share this video and don't forget to subscribe because i have several techniques right here on this channel for you in order to miss that you need to turn on the notification bell till i come your way again bye bye